Hello and welcome back to another Mexico vlog. If you're new here, my name is Maddie and I currently live in Guadalajara, Jalisco. Today, I wanted to challenge myself to find some of the cheapest tacos in the city and the most fancy gourmet luxury ones and compare them. Is it really better if you pay more or not? First, I'm gonna go into a Tacos al Vapor restaurant called Tacos Don Danny, which has actually been in business for 37 years. So obviously they're doing something right. Let's find out what it is. Okay, I'm actually starving, but before I get too ahead of myself, I should explain why this isn't your typical taqueria. Here they serve tacos al vapor, which literally translates to steamed tacos. So as you can probably deduce, unlike the common griddle cooked tacos in Mexico, tacos al vapor are cooked via all the steam you can see pouring out of these giant pots. So I have a couple options I can choose from here, chicharron, de chevrada, papa, picadillo, frijol y rajas con queso, and then after you choose your tacos, you get them here, you go over to this salsa station where you get to dress it all up. So I can say right off the bat these are very unassuming looking tacos but they are only 13 pesos each and of course you get to customize them however you want so I put a little bit of salsa on there and some cabbage. I end up getting chicharron which is cooked pork rind in this case and deshebrada which I believe is shredded beef and also one I don't think I've ever tried before called picadillo which from my understanding is like shredded carrot and something else I should probably ask again. I'm gonna start out with the chicharron because I'm a big fan of chicharron. Super flavorful. Now let's give the deshebrada a try. Make this a little bit less messy. Oh my god. Oh, I love that one. Even better than the last. Mmm. 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 Oh, heck yeah. That's where it's at. And finally, I'm going to try the picadillo, which I did just look up and she told me it didn't have onion, but the, the Google, <laughs> Google said it does. So I'm gonna try one bite and just hope that I don't have a crazy allergic reaction. Still pretty flavorful, not my favorite. Gonna have to go with the dish of rada, number one. Mm. Uh, cuesta? Uh, uh, tres. Now it's time to kick up the price point, so I'm going to be taking a 15 minute Uber, which costs 70 pesos, to my next destination. For some of those fancy, super expensive tacos, I had to come to Sonora Grill. I didn't realize that this was even in the city, and it used to be one of my guilty pleasure places to go in Querétaro. I went an obnoxious amount of times, but I know, admittedly, I know the tacos are really good here. I know the food is good here. The service is awesome too. They start out by bringing you some, uh, this like bean dip and a bunch of salsas and chips. And did you know already that the drinks are two for one here? I'm waiting on a Negroni right now. It's been a while since I've had one. <laughs> I think I really need to go to Italy one of these days because I fell in love with this drink when I went to an authentic Italian place in Playa del Carmen. And it's been basically my favorite drink ever since. I would love to have it in the actual ambiance of where it was, where it originated, right? I think. So I decided to order the ribeye tacos with tueteno, which is bone marrow, and they are quite expensive, 590 pesos for four tacos, which is approximately 11 times more than the tacos I tried earlier. But besides the very obvious sky-high price of these tacos, I am getting a much higher quality cut of meat, there's a delicious layer of crispy cheese underneath it, and of course, tuetano is kind of a delicacy to add to a taco. But besides that, there's another major difference between the cheap taqueria 
and this fancy restaurant. There's more of a presentation to it and you get more personalized service, of course. So in this case, he removed the bone marrow from the bones for me, which was just kind of cool to watch the final touches being made on these awesome tacos before I got to eat them. And boy, was my mouth watering watching all this. It was just, ugh. And then of course, instead of going up to a salsa bar, you also have all the salsas right there at your table. And they even brought out a sampling of super gourmet varieties of salt. But I will say I'm disappointed that I told them at the door they always ask if you have allergies and I said I have an allergy to onion and then I said when ordering them I have an allergy to onion they came with onion I told them that and they took it back to the kitchen and just took them off so for 590 pesos I would have expected them to remake them but these are super good so I'm just gonna deal with the consequences after this and I'm just gonna enjoy the rest of these for sure. <laughs> At the end, I think it was the manager that came up to the table to ring up my credit card and he was like, how was everything? Everything good? And you know, I was like, yeah, it tasted really good. But the thing is, I've come to Sonora Grill a lot of times before in Queretaro and I really loved it. But this time I was kind of disappointed because like it came out with all this onion after I asked twice and he comped my entire check. This has never happened in Mexico, ever. That was over a thousand peso check. Accidents happen, and I do love Sonora Grill, and those tacos were amazing. Ugh, I'm glad I have two more, two more to go. Now I'm heading back into the Chapalita neighborhood for some more inexpensive taqueria style tacos. This place is called Los Alteños and it came very highly recommended by some people in the Guadalajara Facebook group. Hola, buenos días. Pido aquí primero. Sí, por aquí. Aquí, estas son las opciones. Sí. Sí, sí. Entonces. Y esta es la lengua. ¿Lengua? Lengua. Este viene siendo el, el, el recorte de todo, se le dice cabeza. Okay. Es el cachete. Y esta es pura carnita. De todo lo que se limpia, se queda la pura carnita limpia. Ah, ok. Carnacita. Este se llama algo? Carnaza. Carnaza. Ajá. Es querer un... Carnaza, ¿es eso? Y un chorizo, un de pastor, por favor, sin cebolla. which is like cooked in bulk in those those big pots. So I am very excited to give this a try, give these a try. Of course, I had to get a chorizo. That's one of my favorites. Pastor looked amazing from this big trompa that they have over here. The new one to me is this, some type of beef, something or other, and I'm actually I'm not sure which one it is. So I'm gonna taste it and see if I can tell that way. And here we go. I already dressed it up with the salsa. Well, that's 
flavorful. Mmm. I think that's the mystery beef. It is good. Mmm. I forgot to put some lime on it though. Now I'm gonna give the what I think is pastor a try. They really, really loaded these up. Like <laughs> they're barely they're barely holding on inside these tortillas. Oh my god. Yep, yep, I love that one. Oh my gosh. Especially with the pineapple. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. And last but certainly not least is the chorizo. Probably gonna be my favorite. Mm. Oh, that's good. I do think the pastor. Oh man. That is where it's at. So between the two cheaper taquerias, I'm gonna have to say that Los Alpenos gets my vote. I think it's a lot more lively here, and of course you've got the food being prepared fresh. You really can't go wrong with the taco that's under a dollar. <laughs> also, I don't know what the history of this place is, but if you look at their listing on Google Maps, it's 4.7 stars out of 5, which is pretty high for Mexican restaurants or like taquerias, and it has over 7,400 reviews. That is a lot. That is a lot. A lot. A lot of reviews. But you can see why, these tacos were amazing. At the end, you do bust your own table, you take all your trash to this little station they have, and you're kind of on the honor system to go back up to the register and pay for everything and tell them how many tacos you got. If you're enjoying this video and you'd like to see more from me, please hit that subscribe button. I release a new video every single week. So for my second and last round of luxury gourmet high-end tacos, I decided to come to a place called Bruna in the neighborhood Americana. This place is ultra fancy. You walk in through these massive double doors, through a very ritzy uh, entryway, through to their bar and then I am currently sitting out here in what is pretty much a botanical garden with fountains, giant succulents, and they've even got, I mean, vines going up and down the pillars, fans to keep you cool, and misters as well. So they're prepared for all conditions. I did see that they were famous for their cocktails. They're very, very fancy cocktails, and this has gotta be easily the most impressive presentation. Every cocktail you order comes out on a tray in its own corresponding environment. I ordered a bugambilia, so it's sitting on a bed of flower petals. I did see some other drinks come out which actually had more elaborate environments, but anyway. She pours the cocktail mixture, which includes an infusion of bougainvillea, rose petals, lychee, and ginger, and then with some type of air blowing tool, she makes a smoke-filled bubble on the top, which I get to pop. I get to pop. I get to attempt to pop. Okay, okay, there we go. <laughs> and finally, she adds two different types of oils on top and it is ready for me to enjoy. Wow, that is some, those are some complex flavors. And I don't know what the bubble was made out of, but that was definitely my favorite part. To try to make this the fairest possible comparison between the fancy tacos, I also got tacos de ribeye again. And in this case though, these said that it comes, well, it comes with a variety of salsas on the side, but also with aged cheese from the Sierra Mountains of Coalcaman, Michoacan. And it has some guacamole on the side and some fresh tortillas. This is like a build your own taco kind of a situation. So I wasn't really expecting this actually. I'm a bit disappointed with both of these fancy restaurants because I've clarified that I have an onion allergy and at both places it came out with onion, took it to the back and they took all the onion off. But the cheese part I asked about and apparently it was the salsa, one of the salsas on the side that had onion on top of it as well. So they're changing that out. But let's see if I can give this a try. Oh, they're blue corn tortillas, I like it. I actually feel like I'm going to not be able to eat this as a taco, but I'm cut it up. <laughs> A picture of the Spongebob sound that's like nine hours later. <laughs> I kind of feel like 
I like it, but this isn't like the taco experience that I was hoping for. Because it's all deconstructed. It smells like, like getting a steak with tortillas on the side. <laughs> but I will say, it's 390 pesos here for what could be five tacos. Doesn't have tuetano, but you do get the great ambiance. Um, I would, I don't know, I would say four and five. Four and five. So in the end, unfortunately, my rating of those tacos went from four out of five to three out of five because there's only a small portion of the good part of the meat and the rest was fat. Some of it was the good type of fat that's really like, like guilty pleasure type and then others you just chew and chew and chew and it never chews down so uh, I'd say of the two high-end tacos Sonora Grill definitely gets my votes but I would come back here again and probably order something else when I want tacos I want them to, to be tacos <laughs> So in the end, what do you think? Is it worth it to pay more for those luxury tacos or are street tacos or taqueria tacos the way to go? Or does it depend on the occasion? Does it depend on the place? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with a friend you think might like it too. On the screen here is a video I made last week about my daily life here in the city of Guadalajara. Please subscribe to my channel before you go. And one more thing. Bell so you get notified the next time I release a new video and I hope to see you there.